Apostle Joshua Selma. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we give you thanks. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. I love him very much right from my room. I know when people minister from the spirit. And I was just looking forward to where I kept telling my protocol, is it not time for us to leave this place? I mean, I just wanted to enjoy that atmosphere. There are not many vessels that are yielded. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please let's sit for a few minutes. It's a miracle service. And oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh oh yeah yeah say oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah let your kingdom come. Let your will be done, Yahweh. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done, Yahweh. Come on up, Oh, yeah, yeah, say. the church in Corinth and he says we speak this wisdom in a mystery like minister Dunsin was saying there are times that it just looks like you are speaking gibberish however there are communications in the realm of the spirit it doesn't make sense to shout and say oh yeah what, what does that mean it's the same thing that was on the wall mene, mene tekel ufesen. and one word mene means oh king you have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting. One, one communication in the spirit.
So we're not, we're not wasting our time tonight. If this is all we do and begin to minister, we, we are here to announce to Abel Kuta one more time that there is a king that sits upon the throne. Jesus, you be lifted high. I am lifted high. You're not wasting your time tonight. Jesus, you be lifted high. Let our King be lifted. Shabbat shalom. Tani uku. 
believe that tonight is a very defining moment. I see crowds right to the car park. Let me tell you this. It doesn't matter where you are tonight. I believe that that flood, did the Bible not say there is a river that flows from the throne of God? Hallelujah. And that as it flows, everything that must leave your life must leave tonight. And everything that must be manifest in your life will be manifest. In the name of Jesus. Now, it truly is a burden in my heart every time I have the opportunity to bring the word of God and to minister to God's people. And now I am more touched because tonight is the final session. And then for a number of years, this kind of convergence under this platform may not roll here again. And that means that everything that happens tonight must be prophetic and it must be received as such. Hallelujah. And tonight is a miracle service and so we have a lot to do. I just want to give a charge and then we pray. I truly believe that the message was captured tonight in the worship. That if you had the discernment to understand, then you will see that the Lord was saying several things through the songs, through the words, ministering to our spirits, challenging us to a higher level of depth, hunger, and passion for God. Hallelujah. For many years, I wondered why God would use certain people, Pastor, that in every generation, like I would always say, God would seem to find a few people. We had a very touching discussion yesterday uh, after the service, and um, um, we were just discussing why mantles and graces uh, do not seem to reproduce themselves evidently in the lives of people. That means that you would hardly, you would find people who were trained by the careers of these graces. You would find people who were mentored by the careers of these graces, but you will seldom find a people in their numbers reproducing the unction and the grace that they were trained under. In spite of the impartations that happened, please listen tonight, in spite of all of the, in the Bible there was almost no instance of more than a person or two carrying a man of God's grace. Elijah had a band of prophets he was mentoring. He was not mentoring them to just loiter around. Did you know we never hear the exploits of those sons of the prophet? Never, all through scripture. They were trained and wasted. But there was a farmer that had no business being in the school. But something about the rules of the spirit drove that man. There was no prophecy that Elisha was supposed to carry the grace upon Elijah. And he carried that grace. I say this because many territories have a heritage that is not being preserved. There are no people, there are hardly people that represent the continuity of God's program across territories. So once in a while you will have mighty men, a man, a woman, a prophet, an apostle, an evangelist, etc. They would rise and do great things. And then for a period of time, you will still find people serving God casually. But you may not find that level and that dimension of impact again. And it is not because the people do not have access to that career. I may not have the time to tell you all of the secrets that really govern impartation. But then I just want to state one tonight as we prepare for this miracle service. I've had the privilege of working with God for a while. And I've had the unique, the unique, merciful, um, you know the Bible says, that blessed is the man whom God causes to approach his presence. Like lifting up the golden censer before Esther to say come. You don't just enter the king's chamber because you want to. You may be around the palace but you are called, you are initiated. 
And so sometimes as, as an election of grace, it is true that we can all approach the throne right now, but we're talking about depths and dimensions of intimacy with God. And the Lord has granted me by his grace, and not for my sake, for the sake of a generation, to have encountered the Holy Spirit in unusual dimensions. And I want to share with you, maybe in five, ten minutes, and then we pray. Because I do not want us to waste this experience. Every time we see men and women of God, many of you stood watching, doing sin minister, and wondering from whence, you know, the fountain of grace from which these songs come from. There is one key that I want to teach us tonight. It is the power of brokenness. More than prayer, more than fasting, more than sowing seeds, there is no principle in the Bible that can replace the place of genuine brokenness. As far as accessing the power and the grace of God is concerned, the Bible says that it is the desire of God that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, that it covers the entire earth in the similitude of water covering the sea. So there is no, there is no confusion as to the fact that God desires an effulgence, a manifestation of his power and his grace in Abelkuta, across the west, all through Africa. But the problem is that God has conditions. This is something that people do not understand about God. When it has to do with walking with God, believe me, there are conditions. The chiefest of them is not your intention. It's more than your desire. It's brokenness. It's a non-negotiable condition to host the grace of God for a generation. You can listen to any message you want to listen to. You can buy any anointing oil from any anointed man, respectfully speaking. But let me tell you sincerely, my brothers and my sisters, you can conjure every kind of oratical skills that you can find. You can study the, uh, uh, and, and train yourself to be able to communicate a sound exegesis of scripture. But nothing in life will ever replace the place of genuine brokenness. You've heard me say the price for all of God is all of you. Not your heart, not your hand, not your offering, not your songs, you. This is the message that our generation does not want to hear. We admire what happens with broken vessels. It was Jesus that was speaking Abel Kuta, and he said the hour has come for the son of man to be glorified so he's talking about the manifestation of glory then the next verse very quickly says verily verily I say unto you in other words behold a mystery I want to connect death and glory he says except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies you can fall but not die It falls and dies. The Bible says it abides alone. It does not sustain the ability to expand its influence. It says, but if it does die, then from that death, resurrection begins to happen. You want to carry the grace that was upon the fathers that came from this city. The West has a rich heritage of men and women who were discussing almost... The, the grandparents of most of you seated here were part of the, the pioneers of strange revivals. Some of them carried graces and mantles. They may not have been educated, but they were broken enough to veto that limitation. Couldn't speak English, but you could not deny the presence of God in their life. They would step into cities and without speakers, without amplifiers, without clashing cymbal, they would speak and there would be an echo. The realm of the spirit had regard for their stature because they were men who were broken. Listen to me. The real 
the real quality that gives credence to your Christian experience is not the dexterity and the prowess of your communication. Those things are just support systems. They are only valid when you are broken. I will tell you what brokenness is. Brokenness is a state that only God can bring a man in the first place. And then brokenness is a point in your life. Please look at me. It's a point of death where you lose the ability you lose the ability to fabricate your own agenda where you are completely dead to yourself dead to your will the will of man is one of the highest advantages that God gave him and if you can lay down that will so that the purposes of God be achieved that is valuable in the sight of God God gave a man a will I can choose today to stop loving God is an act of my will and God will respect it I can choose today that I do not want to be a Christian anymore but when you now take that will and say Lord you gave it to me but I lay it down you make me royalty but I choose to serve serve you with my life serve you in worship you made me to sit at your right hand, but I choose to bow, bow in worship and adoration. That's brokenness. Lord, I have my choice. I can run my life by myself at my terms, but I choose to lay it down before you. I pour my life like a drink offering. Listen. The Bible says the love of God can constrain a man. There are many things that love does. Love can grant access to revelation. Love can make faith work. But love can constrain a man. Brokenness is not comfortable. The Bible says when you are young, John 21, you are allowed to go wherever you want to go to. And then the more mature you become, someone will hold your hand and constrain you so that sometimes you will not do what you want to do. There are rules to power. There are rules to authority. That you want to host a grace that is generational. It takes more than just praying and fasting, as important as that is. It takes more than just Bible study and an understanding of scripture. There is a state of truthfulness. You get to a point where you do not have any agenda again in your life. That you have no business building an empire for yourself. The secret I would always say is found in Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, it's a mystery. I am dead but I am alive. I told you that the weight of God is heavy. Only dead men can carry him. It only takes the strength of a dead man to carry God. You have lost our obsession. We live in a celebrity phase. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. But that obsession to be celebrated. Apostle Joshua Selman. Mighty man. Celebrity. You know, that obsession drives us to fast for 40 days. Lord, I came from a family where nobody has clapped for me before. That becomes a motivation for 40 days fasting. As sincere as it is, you already missed it from day one. Listen, let me tell you this. Until God sees himself as the final motivation behind all you do, you are not ready for business with God. You can pray, you can listen to messages, you can have revelations, but nothing promotes more than death. Death is the way to be loudest in the spirit. That when you die to yourself, then the earth can hear you. There is a relationship between death and glory. The power of God coming upon your life. The dispensing of the mysteries of the kingdom. Do you know that a generation does not listen to you just because you have something to say? There is a grace. It's a hear ye him grace. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. You can be as eloquent, you can be intelligent, you can have the grace for signs, wonders, miracles. But when that investment of the spirit is not upon your life, you will be surprised at how people will be uninterested in what you represent. 
The generation does not hear you just because you have something to say. There is a grace. And tonight my first call is the call of death. That the same place where death finishes is where resurrection also starts. They all happen in the grave. I've come to a point in my life sincerely. I have no business building any agenda or empire for myself. Thank God for all of the things that he has done and continues to do through my life. Humbly. But this man you see in my life and in my death, all that I desire to see is Christ lifted and his glory revealed. Whilst we do that, he has created a system where we can also partake of the glory and the blessings that come with us submitting to him. But it should never distract us. Please listen, Abel Kuta, because I believe from tonight, there are, we, are, we are trusting that the floodgates will open up so that certain ancient mantles who is carrying we were discussing yesterday how many young people can you see reproducing the grace upon late apostle babalola people have attended his university people sit under a church and mentorship but if you are not broken the grace will not flow believe me broken the Lord, everything about my life is for you. If you ever prosper me, it is because you are giving me an opportunity to be your treasurer. The last one disappointed you. Let me be the one who will not disappoint you. For the sake of thy house, I desire your good. That when God grants you access to the healing anointing, the goal is not to make a name for yourself. Even though in it, he will lift you. But the goal is that you will be seen. That's why I sang that song. To see you high. To see you lifted up. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth. The earth. Not the ground. You, the earth. I will cause all men. I will draw all men unto myself. So that everything that we do becomes a revelation of him. The songs, your life, the messages, the miracles. In a few minutes now, we're going to be celebrating the awe-inspiring hand of God upon our lives and people will be receiving all kinds of impartations. But if at the end of it, all you saw was Joshua Selman, I failed God. You are broken when men look at you and see him. They keep looking at you, but mysteriously, the more they look at you, the more they forget about you and remember him. They look at you, but cannot remember you. Because you are broken enough to become a mirror. That when they look at you, it's the imprint of his majesty upon your life. When they see a demonstration of his hand and the investment of the spirit upon your life, suddenly they do not idolize you in as much as they appreciate you being the vessel you remind them of him John said that I may decrease and that you may increase this is how it works in the kingdom I have seen several people fast I have seen several people pray I have seen several people buy books fill their libraries with all kinds of books attended all kinds of courses within this nation and outside all in a bid to host the dimension of power and glory that they seek and they do every other thing and they neglect brokenness you must get to a point where you are not ashamed to cause your knees to touch the ground for the sake of his majesty that lord my life revolves at the impulse of your desire what you want is my command that statement, your wish is my command. It's not just for relationship. It's, it's for broken people. What do you desire? If all you want to happen in my life is for me to stand this way, this becomes my posture. Are we together now? It's a very powerful secret. Show me a man who is broken. And I show you a man who will never go out of relevance. This is why people have a lot of balloon success. They are up to date two years. 
a territory celebrates them. You see it happen with music ministers. You see it happen with we servants of God. You are up today for a season and then you go down. It is not so with God. Your brokenness is like an anchor. It can hold on to the, the, the garment of God to make sure wherever he moves, you move with him. More than just studying the Bible religiously. More than just praying religiously. We must get to points in our lives where we are truly surrendered. I hope you know that when you get born again, I know that we say, Jesus, I give you my heart. But what really happens is you receive his life. That's what the Bible says. When you get saved, you don't give Jesus your life. You receive his life. Are we together? You give him your life when you want to be used, when you want him to, to be used by him. <laughs> Giving him your life is the condition to be used by him. I beseech thee, brethren, by the mercies of God, chapter 12 and verse 1 and 2, that ye offer your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, and he calls it your reasonable act of worship. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours, it's yours forever. I'm yours. Here's the part of the song that I really, really like. Listen to me. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. This must be the anthem of the generation that will birth revival once again. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask. I surrender. Not my ambition, not my desire. I'm not trying to use you to make a name. I'm not trying to use you to build a church. I'm not trying to use you to be relevant. I'm not trying to use you to be a popular man of God. I love you more than that. Whatever you ask of me, whatever. Nice. Yeah. This is my life. Honestly, it's not a song for me. Whatever you ask, I this is what we need for the birthing of that army. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours, it's yours forever. Shalabara. Listen, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, if there is anything you will give me, you will give this man standing that will ever distract me and make me to not love you. I'm praying in advance, may it never arrive. And even as I'm standing here, I'm still praying it. Listen, money can distract you. Fame can distract. We are humans. And so when you come from a background where people have neglected you, people have despised you, it's only human that as you begin to rise, that, that, that passion to prove a point is there. And God says, that's too small a reason to carry my anointing. That's too small a reason to carry the grace for a generation. To prove a point? No, sir. The key must be to be a conduit through which his power and his grace is revealed. This is my message tonight. That if you can be broken enough, my brothers and my sisters, there is no limit to what God can do in your life. God will put his grace upon your voice. 
you will speak from one point and the nations will hear you because there is the angel of his presence through the pipe of your brokenness he will transport everything God in you and take it to the nations whatever you ask of me Every time I'm with God, I tell him, Lord, I'm not here suggesting things to you about my life. I am here completely broken. Let men keep saying whatever they think I am. For some, it's Apostle Joshua Selman, the great man. Thank you. But while all that noise is happening in the outer court, I'm here with him. Saying, Majesty, what do you desire in my life in this season? Sometimes you may want to go out and you will say, all I want is for you to sit down. Stay there. And he will ask you to sit down and not talk to you. He does not have to talk. He is Lord. Whatever you ask. There are times he will tell you this year. All the money that comes into your account, give it to me. He said, I rebuke that spirit. It can't be God. And he says, I was only showing you what is really Lord in your heart. What do I need your money for? The currency in heaven is power. You convert power to everything you want on earth. When God wants to make you wealthy, he gives you his divine power. That divine power gives you all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Hallelujah. So here is a music minister who wants to get songs like Minister Dunsin says, respectfully speaking, just because you want the land of Abel Peter to hear your voice, you may be sincere, but you will go to the secret place and pray and fast and copy songs and not receive anything. Because the key that opens that fountain, do you not know that for a fountain, where don't you, the flood in the days of Noah, the Bible says the earth broke forth to allow what was inside to come out. The heavens now also open. That's what makes a flood. There must be a breaking, a tearing apart. But this man can say, Lord, I'm not seeking to be a musician. I just want to know you. I just want to honor you. I just want my life to reflect your grace. Suddenly, he starts hearing songs. The songs of the angels. The songs. Where is this coming from? It's coming from the standpoint of brokenness. And he's hearing those sounds and writing them. This is another man of God. He's not looking for fame. He's not just looking for a church. He's not looking for a crowd and a good name. All he wants to see is Christ glorified. He says, Lord, I'm available. If ever you seek for a vessel, find one in me. Don't pass my region and ignore me. I may not be the best, but I'm broken. I may not be as educated, but I'm broken. And here comes the jealousy of God upon that man. This is what I seek. Because no matter where I lift you and where I take you, you will not forget what I have done. Broken vessels are powerful. Are we blessed? This is very powerful. We are going to pray. But it's important for you to know that this is how it works in this kingdom. Our generation is losing the technology. We are trying to do every other thing to access real power. Not, not stories here and there today. God can do this. God will do this and then nothing happens. Genuine grace that can keep territories at, at a standstill. There is the prophetic. 
that has been hovering around a Belkuta looking for someone broken enough. You pass that mantle every day and the realm of the spirit is saying there is. And there are people, I'm speaking especially to the generation coming. There are all kinds of wells waiting for broken vessels. Tonight may someone carry it. In the name broken enough to say Lord whatever you want my life to be that's what it will be if you ask me to stop preaching today I will stop preaching immediately because his majesty makes demand of that was that not what Vashti refused to do and made her lose her place Vashti lost her place because of one single sin she forgot she was queen only because she married a king she was not a queen because she earned it so her strength was in her weakness and she forgot it. But when Esther came, Esther mentored us on how to remain in good contact with Ahasuerus. Lord, I will bow to you to no other God but you Lord, I will worship you. Nothing hands have made but you, Lord. Tonight he demands in this place, I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart. Sing, Lord, I will bow, Lord, I will bow to no other you. This is it. When your life becomes a channel to see him, that every time people see me, may they see you. Every time they hear me, may they hear you. It's been my prayer, sincerely. Preachers, when we return to a point where we are not ashamed of men seeing him through our lives, it's not a thing of shame. It's great honor for men to look at you and remember him. It's proof that you are dead in him. Then we will see dimensions of power. I was sharing with Pastor Shola briefly at the hotel before we came. I lay down to sleep and into the morning, I saw, you know how birds migrate. That's what I saw happening in this. I saw birds just coming to this auditorium and I looked and they already had the names of people they were landing on. It was, this is what I saw, I was telling him. So I know that tonight, I'm not just talking to buy time. God is doing a quick work, but will he find you? That's, that's the key. Will you escort others while he's touching people? You provide the fire. Now provide the sacrifice. You provide the spirit. And I will open up inside. Fill me up. Fill me up. Fill me up. Fill me up. Feel me up, God. Feel me up, God. I beseech ye, therefore, brethren, that you offer your bodies. Man of God, don't offer your church. You have offered your church enough. 
offer your body. Music artists, don't offer your CDs. You have given them enough. Offer your body. A living sacrifice. Lord, if you seek a voice in this generation, I am available and usable. Usable. You seek a country to transfer your power, your grace and your possibilities to the nations. Find one here. Find one here. We are talking of an overflow. A flood that will sweep across the nations. Let it be me from my innermost being. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over. Want to run I want to run over. Please take it high for me. Many years ago, I was in a meeting in Kaduna. And then, while I was ministering to the people, a song came from heaven. You've heard me sing it many times. It says, You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have. Yes, your part now. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all. Take all of me, all of me, Lord, you have my enemy. Use all of me, all of me, Lord, you have my enemy. One prayer point and we'll set this place on fire tonight. Father, every part of me that has not yielded to you, I submit it tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Every part of me. Take away the pride. Take away the lust. Take away the vain glory. Come on, Abel Kuta. Hey, shalas kabarantas kabarata Everything. Let there be a circumcision of the Spirit upon me. Prune my life, oh God, to 
will be a vessel of honor, a vessel that will carry your power to the nation. From the front to the back, pray. Following online, pray. Break me, oh God. Let me be a broken vessel. More than oratory. More than prayer. More than just fasting. That I be broken genuinely. Not seeking an agenda of my own. Only to see the Christ glorified. listen the Lord is going to be doing four things in this place and we'll wrap up this conference number one we're going to be praying for the sick it's time for that which stands as a hindrance between you and the next level that afflicts your body even this body has to be prepared a body has thou prepared for me number two I trust that we will speak to the ancient wells of Abel Kuta to spring up. We are going to speak to the flood gates to path, heath and tither, and that everything that makes for revival, everything that makes for signs and wonders, let your power flow. In this place, let your healing come. I call for signs and wonder hey, in this place. Babalola, there are prophets that moved upon this earth. Please, I want you to pray. Lord, if, if, if the feet of any general touch this region, then by the Spirit we make a call. We place a demand.
ready to pray. Kaladara bakata braga de beleka tusi. Haras kabari zalita. Ende leka te bratisia hasabara katas. Randa baratu sese ya kata prate kata balada bakatas. It's time to receive. It's time to change levels. It's time for the flood to sweep everything that is not Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know why the Lord is starting tonight with women. I think I know why. Because women are gates in the spirit. A woman is a gate in the spirit. That womb you see is not just an instrument of carrying a child. No. Women are gates. When Jesus resurrected, the first person to see the resurrected Christ was a woman. So I want to pray because I'm seeing a grace that is coming on women. This is a strong anointing for revival. I want to bring them out here. I'm seeing 13, 1, 3, 13 people who pray for the sick shortly. Father, here in Abel Kuta, we decree and declare by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic that every woman here who is ordained for the move of God that is coming in the name of Jesus, Deborah's, Esther's, by the spirit of the living God, I call you arise. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Please bring them. Take that grace now. I call for Esther's. Deborah's by the spirit. By the Spirit of God, let the floodgates of revival come upon the borders. Open their eyes to see, open their ears to hear the sounds of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to be fast. Now please listen. Please listen. There is going to be a baptism. Please listen. This is not for everybody. I'm not even seeing up to 13 or 14. There is a unique expression of the spirit for miracles, signs, and wonders. This grace. I know that we all desire it, but there are unique people. And many of them are men and women of God in ministry. Ministry will be barren and unfruitful without these graces. I want to pray. I'm just seeing fire around and that's why the Lord is asking me to pray when I pray that grace will come on you and shift your life your destiny and your ministry to another dimension father I pray by the spirit of the living God upon men and women of God upon generals in the making even in the land of Abel Kuta, I pray let the fire that produces signs and wonders right now let it rest upon you at the count of three. One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that fire. Take that grace. Take that fire. Hallelujah. Madam, this woman, please come. You're a woman of God? You're a pastor? You're a, you're... I want to pray for you. The Lord is lifting you in this season. I'm seeing a strange grace for miracles, signs, and wonders. You believe that? Please hold my hands. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, may that grace come upon you. This is the minister's stand. I'm seeing one of the men of God here. A strong fire is coming on you now. Please bring that person for me. I don't know who, but I just saw an anointing. Please help them. Hello, Kim Madonna. 
prophesy over you strength and fire for a new dimension in ministry I shift you by the rod of a higher priesthood step into a new level of intimacy with the spirit and I decree and declare over your life the eyes to see the ears to hear I release grace upon you in the name of Jesus hallelujah My friend, lift your hands, you. Lift your hands, an anointing is coming on you now. Bring that man here. Take that grace now, in the name of Jesus. Bring him. Hallelujah. Madam, this woman raising her hands, come, your life is about to change. My friend, is he a pastor? Are you a pastor? Where? Hold on, please, hold on, guys. Is the mic working? In Ogun State, yeah. Yes, sir. You are a pastor? Yes, sir. You pastor your church? Yes, sir. Okay, I will pray with you. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Fresh fire. Take that grace right now. You step into a new dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. The grace to communicate truth with power. I release it upon you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Madam, let me pray for you. I saw... I saw what looked like honey dripping on your head. I don't know you from anywhere. I want to pray for you. It's a new season that God is shifting you into. In the name of Jesus. Father, bring this woman into a new level in the spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus hallelujah now I'm going to pray for the sick shortly but the Lord is showing me a woman here you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for five years who is that it's time for God to change you are in front here you are in front here it's not far who is that was she in front here Please help us with another, no, is there another mic that is working? Please, let someone who can handle it help us so that. No, 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 Some, a pastor, yes, please. Maybe this, this. How long have you been married? Five years. Five years, where's your husband? Husband, because I saw he's here. Come, prepare for a baby boy. Come and stand, I will pray with you. Both of you are pastors. You are pastors. This is what I'm saying. Are you, are you a pastor, sir? Where? Missionary. We go to school to minister to young people. Okay, you're a missionary. You believe what I'm saying? This God, Ba, let me tell you, in, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, He can change your life. I stand by the God of heaven because I'm seeing a baby boy. The, I don't care what the medical condition is. That's not what I'm asking. In the name of Jesus Christ, and here at this conference, we stand by God, and I release both of you. Step into that miracle. In the name of Jesus. I lose her womb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? No. Look at me. Please give her the mic. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are not yet five years. Please give her the mic. I'm seeing that there is something common between me and you. When did you get married? 2015, June. June. 20. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying there is, there is, I'm seeing something similar between me and you. June. Is your husband here? June will make it five years since you got married. And you don't have a child. You are trusting God for a child. Do you believe that right here, 
Please, let's, let's meet him. I'm going to pray for the sick. If we do it like this, we'll, this place will be crowded. Minister Dunsin, when, when we are done, he's going to come and lead that, that Imole Day song. We are going to drive darkness in a way that we must cut it out of this place tonight. My sister, come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command everything that is not of God to leave you now. In the name of Jesus, go and carry your child by the power of the Holy Spirit. This lady too. What's your name? Are you married? Where's your husband? Your husband, is he a pastor? Because I'm seeing that this is a man of God. That's what I'm saying. Where is he? Okay, don't, no problem. He doesn't want to come at that. Where is he? You are wearing a yellow vest. Is there someone like that? Are you a pastor? Is, yes, that, is that a husband? Yes, sir. Do you know me? No, sir. Look at me. Let me tell you this. Not only are you going to receive the miracle of a child, finance has gone down. You need a miracle seriously in the area of finances. Because this thing is witchcraft, my brother. I need to pray for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Three things. Number one, you really need spiritual intelligence. Sit under a system that provides the mentorship that will open you up. Have I prayed for you? Look at me. Um, my sister, hold my hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! It's over. Gone forever. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you. You believe, you believe in God? Because... In the name of Jesus, here at our Belkuta Believers Conference, you will never forget this conference. I command every power that is not of the Christ to let you go now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing something tied, her stomach is tied, I lose it now. For you, I pray for you, may God open you up, supernatural dimensions of grace and even finances. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, Abigail, Abigail. I'm hearing a name, Abigail. We're going to pray for the sick shortly. Please be patient with me. Abigail. The Lord is speaking to me. I'm hearing the name Abigail. You are an usher. And you are Abigail. Your name is Abigail from where, my dear? Huh? I'm from Akowi. Where is that? I want to pray for you. Hold on. Bring the person that shouts under the anointing now, loud to the hearing of everybody. Bring her. The Lord brings salvation to your entire family. And the Lord is saying it is over. The plague of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I stand in agreement with the servants of God here. We banish darkness forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release you from every oppression of darkness. Find freedom tonight and find freedom forever. In the name of Jesus. There is another person that shouts here too. Don't mind me, let me just do my mad thing. Walking by the Spirit. I'm seeing the angels of the Lord move this side. So I'm wondering why. And the Lord, please, let me have the person. But the people that do know their God, they shall be strong. I pray that this conference will cultivate a hunger for God. Stop experimenting. You can know God. There are things you cannot fake. You cannot guess. No. But I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Now watch this. There is someone here, you are a prophet. Truly, you are a prophet of God. But you will need an activation of grace. The power of God is going to come upon that person. Now, hold on. Listen. Please listen. I know that there are many people. There is a particular prophet that I'm looking for. Please help the person so he does not injure himself. The power of God will bring you out here now as I'm speaking. It is by the unction of the Spirit. Literally, you will come out by the Spirit. Just help the person so he does not enjoy himself or herself. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
We're going to open up prophetic fountains. Prophetic fountains. My glory, the lifter of my Thou, O oh Lord, that's him coming, are a shield for me. My glory, you're the lifter of my Shalabadada. Now I speak using these ones as points of contact all over this place everyone called into the prophetic office at the count of three let there be a breaking forth in the name of jesus get ready one two three i release the grace take the fire for the prophetic the eyes that see the ears that hear this is the heritage of this territory i shift you to those dimensions I activate those possibilities in the spirit. Oh my glory, God the lifter up of my head. My glory, God the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. I'm ready to pray for the sick now. Have I prayed for all of you here? Why are they here? Abigail, I will pray with you in the name of Jesus. The power of God is coming on one of you. Eh? When that happens, then I'll pray for the rest. One of you. The Lord is telling me a strong anointing is going to come on one of you. And the moment that happens, then I'll pray for the rest. And then we'll pray. we have to pray for the sick very quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Very strong anointing is coming on one of you. And it will shift you to a new dimension in the spirit. And then I'm going to pray for the rest. It's a strange fire that is going to take you to a new dimension. Lord, I pray for all these ones who have come in the name of Jesus. The various dimensions that they must step into. I release you into those graces in the name of Jesus. I release you into those graces. Seven people are receiving the grace for intercession. I'm seeing that grace and intercessors anointing. One of them is here in the choir here an intercessor's anointing i'm seeing that grace seven people that's what the lord is showing me in the name of jesus i release you into that grace i release you into that anointing in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please when i pray for them just clear the way i want to pray for the sick now i want to pray for the sick we have to work with time sometimes we are limited by time The man waving the is that a lady or a guy among those people waving their hands the one wearing blue Le hold on hold on hold on where you are just lift your hands shout jesus an anointing is coming on you now hallelujah let's celebrate miracles in this place i want to pray for the sick man there are people, listen please, there are people who have come here trusting God for his touch. You can stand in for yourself, you can stand in for your loved ones. Jesus will be glorified. Now, I'm going to ask Minister Dunsin to come and listen, that song is prophetic. As he sings that song, if he needs his backup, please just, just let them come. That song, Imole Day, as we drive out darkness. Afterwards, I'm going to pray for the sick. Please, if... The missing child yesterday has come home. Remember, I prophesied... Where is the child? I prophesied yesterday... Where, where is the person? Please, let me have the... Come. My God, my God. Abel, could I just have you say the missing child?
God, yesterday is back home. Where are they? Please come, let them come. Ah. When, when you find them, let them come. Meanwhile, Minister Dunsin, oh, this is a child. My God, Abel Kuta, look at this. Who shall speak a thing and it shall come to pass? Look at the boy. How many of you were here yesterday? This is the same way I'm prophesying to you now. That whatever has left your life, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I call it back to return in Jesus' name. When that man's up the side of life, You are the light that makes my face shine bright, so bright. And as we look your face tonight, we become the light. Hey! Where's darkness on the side of light? Save the forever. Jesus, we say, you are the light that makes our face shine bright. In the name of Jesus. Lift your eyes and declare. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, Imala die. In the name of Jesus. Say, Imala die. Oku kupara, Imala de One more time. At the top of your voice, declare, Imala In the name of Jesus. Lay your hands, please, all over this place. Hold on, guys. Please, lay your hands right now where you are trusting God. Let's disgrace the devil one more time in this city. As we worship in your presence. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing, Jesus. We now, listen, we're going to do it this way. Please listen, we'll have to be very fast. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to pray. Take your eyes away from whatever ailment. I don't care whether it's a death sentence, whatever it is. Take your eyes away from it. Look up to Jesus. As I pray for you now, it will be very fast. And please let's have, I don't know, maybe Pastor Shevi can help organize just one or two pastors. As soon as the power of God touches you, already many people have been healed here already. And... I want you to check yourself. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, please, if they are coming to testify, just allow them. From the front to the back, the left to the right, I want to make your way. I don't know which of the aisles. You'll find your way here and we'll check you, just verify you, and we'll take a few testimonies here. After that, then we're going to do the final impartation. Don't miss it, please. The final impartation is where some of you will see come to life what you only saw in your dreams you've seen it in your dreams you've seen it in your visions but you are asking when will it come to pass tonight is the night so please pay attention now i want to pray for the sick i want to pray for the sick they'll just check you 
you know, just somewhere here. Now, I don't know why God does this, but it's very strange. There's a strong healing power here. But someone will shout under the anointing, loud to the hearing of everybody. Then the healing power will begin to move. That's not the shout. The shout is coming. I want to pray for the sick now. Jesus. Ah. Water you turn into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. Faith, the power of God is about to touch you. Spirit of infirmity, so of your feet be healed. Every blind eyes I command be open now. Every deaf ear be open now. Everyone on crutches, everyone on a wheelchair. In the name of Jesus, receive life. Life to your bones. Life to your limbs. In the name of Jesus. Every blood condition, I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. There are several ladies with lumps. Some breast lumps is disappearing right now. In the name of Jesus. There's someone who has like a growth in his ear, verified medically. That growth is disappearing right now. In the name of Jesus, God is healing a very severe condition of pile. Pile. In the name of Jesus, let it go. In the name of Jesus, let it go. I'm seeing someone, your right limb. I don't know what is wrong with your right limb, but the power of God is touching you right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Migraine headache, be healed in the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer, be healed in the name of Jesus. Hotness in the body, severe hotness in the body. I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus. There's someone you don't, you don't smell. I don't know what happened to you, but it's like your, your sense of smell. Let it be restored now in the name of Jesus. It's like your left eye does not see well. I declare from wherever you are, may your eyes be open now. Any, anyone here with a bone condition around your lumbar vertebra, in the name of Jesus, let it be corrected now. Let it be corrected now. Your, uh, what they call this, your, un your uncle, in the name of Jesus, I don't know if you twisted it or something like that, but the Lord is bringing restoration now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone has a, a case of heart palpitation, severe, you don't breathe normally. In the name of Jesus, right now, the power of God is touching you. The power of God is touching you. The power of God is touching you. HIV, be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Hold on, please. There's someone, you have a problem with your liver. This is what the Lord is revealing to me. And it's getting you, you are losing weight gradually, almost like someone who has HIV. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you and setting you free now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me a lady. Your tummy is bloated, almost like you are pregnant. People will even think you are pregnant. But it's not pregnancy. This is a demonic thing. Right now, I'm praying for you. The power of God is touching you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. Constant, help them please. Constant urination. 
I don't know who that person is. You can urinate within one hour several times. And it's an embarrassing situation. I don't know what that is, but in the name of Jesus, even right here, right now, the power of God is touching you. The power of God is touching you. The power of God is touching you. You had a dream and someone hit your head. Is it with a stone or something, an object? And from that time, you have pounding headache. Pounding headache. The power of God is touching you now. Now, whatever your situation is mentioned or not, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. In the next five minutes, I want you to check yourself. Watch this. The moment you find out that the power of God has touched you, I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Make your way here. Let's celebrate miracles very quickly. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? Keep coming. Jesus. Celebrate them as they come. Check yourself. Name above every other name. Ah. What can you do? Miracles are happening in change. this place. What can you do? Please clear the way for them. You are evil. Hallelujah. Are you, are you seeing what God is doing in this place, Abel Kuta? My God. I think we should celebrate Jesus in one minute. Check yourself. Check yourself. Miracles are happening here. I don't know what that means. coordinate them. If, if they are here for miracles, Victor, please help them so that we can coordinate it. Yes, sir. Chronic ulcer. Hold on, guys. Okay. Chronic ulcer. Chronic ulcer. Constant, constant stomach pain. Even like, I started praying so much. I was just for how long? For many years. And right now, come. Give Jesus praise. Gone. Gone forever. Please, let's have some ushers. Maybe one or two in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Very quickly. Okay, this is the urination issue. Urination. Let her talk, my God. Frequent urination. It's always been very How long? Very often. I go, I come back. I go, I come back. Did it happen here even while you were in the meeting? And right now you feel God has done a miracle. Come. Look at me. It will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Gone and gone forever. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Go ahead. Next question. The Lord has touched you. Let's take a few testimonies. And we, leg, if we can bone, get another mic, we can spread them so we have one here and one here. If that can work. Bone, leg, bone. Quickly. You, you prophesy that there's somebody with right leg. Your yes. right leg. Yes. I still call my doctor today. She was a chase in Abuja. Yes. That what happened to you now? Me. Come. Boy, jump. Come. Jump up. Any pain? Any pain? <laughs> Only you can do. What no man can do, hey, only you can do, only you can do, only you can heal, what no man can heal, hey, only you, only you, only you, hey. hold on, hold on, look at this, in the name of Jesus, you are healed now, you are healed forever. In Jesus' name, my God. Hold on, hold on, please. 
my God, Pastor, look, look how many miracles. Jesus. Go ahead. When he mentioned the kidney case. Kidney. What's your name? My you name can turn, Glory. face the camera. Yes. My name is Glory. Last okay. week, we were trying to come for a um, miracle service at Zaria. Okay. But the thing just changed and, and I went to hospital. They said I had I had um, a blood problem and it has affected my kidney. So I used to have pains in my stomach. Okay. Sometimes I feel as if something is moving in my stomach. And what happened to you now? The pain just... The pain just come. My God. <laughs> Any pain? Check yourself. Any pain? It's gone completely. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. I will never, never see anyone like you. Hey, I never see anyone. I never see anyone. I never see anyone. Where's the mic? Come, Pastor. Huh? She was giving to me by my daughter. In, she's a witch. She told me she's a witch. That she put this in my food. And it's like HIV. HIV. In my food. H that you have HIV? Yes. Calm down, my dear. Listen. Don't worry. Listen. It started, in, it started with the stomach. So as I know that since the stomach has healed, it's My dear, gone. look at me. You see, let me teach you something. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. There are many spirits, but there is one that when it happens, you know it is that spirit. And it says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Why would God come and heal kidney and then leave any other thing? No. Everything God does, he makes sure it is good. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, HIV and everything leaves. Gone forever. Next person, quickly. Yes. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's. We have this, to help to organize. This is the lump issue. Lump. 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 Yes. Go ahead. Breast lump of seven years. Seven years. No. You don't have to put your hands. <laughs> seven years. Breast lump. And it's gone. Ah. You are the Lord that changed your blood. Seven years, may it never return to you again. In the name of Jesus ice, Christ, ice, God bless ice, you. Ice, Hold on, please. Ice. Um, the man of God mentioned that somebody that does not see with a left eye very well. Anytime I'm reading it, so it will be as if a skill. Right now, yeah, cover the one you used to see with. Follow me. You are the Lord that takes care of What is this? Go ahead. This boy can could never even stand up at all. But when we were praying, he was paralyzed. He was, he was standing, but he could not balance. But when he, he was sitting on the chair, so when he, he was, was sitting praying, on the chair, yes. So when he was praying, he said he wanted to stand up and he stood up by himself. But he's not standing by himself. Anymore. Come, bring him. My God. Father, in the name of Jesus, not only will this boy be perfected, my boy, look at me. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord himself perfect this boy. The Lord that granted him the grace to stand. In the name of Jesus, may this boy even become a mighty man of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Look what God is doing. Next person, my God. All these people are miracles. My God. Ulcer. Ulcer yes. and difficult breathing. Come. Ulcer in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it go. Never to return. Next person. Quickly, please. What's, this is the person you talked about with partial deafness. What's wrong? What was wrong with you? Partial deafness. Partial deafness. 
deafness. Yeah, where? My right side. How long? Since secondary school. Are you sure? Yes, sir. And now? Yeah, it has You put open. which one? Right there. Close the one that was working. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Majesty. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle. Lift it up and say, He's the Alpha and Omega. A shout. Hallelujah. Let's hear Mama's testimony. Praise the Lord. Mama the doctor come. diagnosed me for uh, most interlocking and backache four years ago. So I the was doctor. always in pain. Okay. Yes. Diagnosed okay. me for muscle interlocking. My face okay. on my left yes, side. Please. And backache. So I'm, I'm always in pain. Anytime I take a kaida, I always have problems. What happened to you I now? I wanted to come to this program today. I couldn't dance very well. I can't climb. You couldn't dance? Well. Yes. And ah, right now? Ah, Mama, come. You will dance here with Minister Dizzy. gentlemen listen you see miracles have a message attached to it it's not just the validation of a man of God's anointing miracles are a statement if God would fix something in mama's body what is it in your life that he cannot fix something's moving something's changing Jesus, it will never return to you again by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Yes, please. I've never been a pain on my left breast for the past two years. Pain on your left breast. Come, and it's gone now. My God, my God, never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, please. I normally have a pain on my right breast. Your, your right breast. Come. Are you seeing the kinds of miracles that God is doing now? If something that was there and now is gone, that is a message. It means that there is something God is saying. That what used to be, no matter how long it has stayed, that the power of the Holy Ghost can take it out of a man's life completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. Gone and gone forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. Constant breast pain. Constant. And my body is to be every Come. Time. In the name of Jesus Christ, never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Okay, nothing else happened the past six days. I want to hear Daddy's testimony. This man, this our elderly father, and the woman behind him. Let me know what happened to them. Yes. I've been having a cystic ulcer for two years. When I was coming, I was having a sharp pain in my, my chest. Sharp pain? Yeah, in my chest. My God. By the time you gave those who are having problem with ulcer, I just did relief. And what happened now, sir? It is no longer there. Completely. Completely. Come, sir. My God. Listen. You see, the Bible says the thief cometh not, but for to steal. Look, look, look. This is our father. And at his age, the devil is that wicked to oppress this man's life. But the Bible says, I am come. It's not a sermon. It's an experience. I am come. You will know I have come. Because I come to bring life and to bring it more abundantly. Daddy, we celebrate you, and in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. It's gone and gone forever. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. I had an accident some years ago. Hold on, please. Let's hear her testimony. Go ahead. And um, What's I your injured, name, madam? My name is Tolu Lokwe. Okay. And I injured my right knee. You had an accident how many years ago? Uh, two years. Okay. And what happened? And when you spoke the word, the thing left. Where? Your, which of them? Come. Try to lift it. Accident. And now, any pain? Jump. Jump, try.
when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, the Bible says we were like them that dream. I can see everything turning around. Hey! Turning around. Hold on, please. Someone Wait. was knocked out. Uh, online. The, online. Someone okay. was knocked out by the power of God in Songwater while streaming on Where is that? online in Songwater. Songwater. The power of God came on the person there. Then someone while streaming just got a mail of admission with full funding from University of Dallas, Texas. While streaming. My God. You're streaming and watching from wherever. And suddenly an email comes. Remember the Bible says, I desire to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again. But Satan hindered us. Satan can hinder things from getting to people. What's wrong with that mama? She couldn't walk. Check her. Just check her. Before. Okay, go ahead. Yes, please. Just be patient. Let's just I've celebrate a few times. for the past six years now, but... This night, I just felt what, what happened to you? I took the enemy came again. What, what, what was wrong before? Sir, all sir. All sir, come. In the name of Jesus, it is gone, gone forever, never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. 20, 2012, I was diagnosed of hepatitis B, a chronic liver problem. And I hepatitis was, B? Yes, sir. And chronic liver problem? Yes, sir. And so many doctors have told me that it is not curable, it can only be monitored. But when the man of God made mention of hepatitis, uh, liver problem cases. I believe it and I know that I am healed. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it never returns to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Please sit for a few minutes. Sit for a few minutes. I know you're standing. Just be patient for My a few minutes. My mom has been um, suffering from lumps in her breast. So when you were praying and you were saying uh, about lumps, I believed and I prayed also. So Where I just called she? her. She's at home. So I prayed and I believed and I called her now. And Come, she, in the name of Jesus. Said, Come, quickly. In Jesus' name, it never, never returns to you again. Go ahead. Praise God. Heal of chronic ulcer for the past four years and back pain. Chronic ulcer. Come. In the name of Jesus, chronic ulcer, back pain, leaves never to return again in Jesus' name. I have an online testimony. There's so an online testimony somebody here. Somebody said he feels a skeletal pain in a lumbar region for four to five years. You mentioned that. Yes. And he said, I just flexed my back now and I feel nothing. Completely. It's gone. Usual back pain, when I bend forward and backward, it's all gone. From where online. is this? Online. Okay, online. No, online. No. Person is streaming. Yes, go ahead. Okay, I was diagnosed of fibroid gastritis, peptic ulcer. And ah, how come, do you know you're come. healed? You, you, you see how the I, devil... I started feeling come, my this. dear. Come, let her come. You were diagnosed of fibroid, peptic ulcer. How long? Gastritis, gastritis fibroid. I started feeling uncomfortable in my stomach. And then I, I told God, I said, God, it's very hard for them to mention peptic ulcer. And everything wrong with me is even inside. I don't even understand. And immediately you mentioned peptic ulcer. And then on my way out, I started feeling so uncomfortable. My hands started burning. And then I just knew that God has done it. Place your hand on your stomach. It will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Healed and healed forever. In the name of Jesus. I've been having this kind of branches in my body for long. And I kept using drugs. But it keeps reappearing and so okay. on. Can, can we just, morning, let's, let's just see, there are so many people, let's just see how we can just take uh, maybe three or four, and then I just generally pray for the rest so that we can do the impartation. So there, there are so many, so many miracles now, we'll just have to manage it. I know that there are still a few. You can do well, whether or not your testimony is taken here, I think there should be a way to just um, pen it down, and then... So yes. this morning, when I was going to school, I felt another place at the back of my neck. Then this place started inching me and I felt pain. But when Apostle just mentioned we should place our hands on any way it's paining us, I just believe God has healed me because Come. the pain was never there. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Hold on. Let her go now. Out! Now! 
In the name of Jesus. It's gone. Over. Yes, go Praise ahead. God. I used to nurse this um, chronic um, pain. Even while Wild. standing, while standing, it was aching me. So immediately the man of God said, um, some, a lady here is suffering from pain. It's gone. Immediately, it, it was as if, I don't know, as if they, they put, uh, they applied a balm there. And after that, oh. I, I, I don't In have anything. In the name anything. of Jesus Christ. Pile is a very terrible and discomforting situation. Stand, my dear. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. We seal this miracle. It is gone and gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Streaming online, all the way from Kenya. Healed from heart palpitations, like you mentioned. And toothache, instantly. I have another one, all the way from Italy. Streaming online. Back pain, gone completely. All the way from Italy. Yeah. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Jesus, we agree for mommy perfection on her eyes, and may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, okay, maybe just two more, just two more. Let's let's. I was diagnosed of hepatitis B. Hepatitis B. It's a liver problem right from childbirth. And then I, bless God, I felt I felt like I was light when Come. we In the name of Jesus, place your hand on your stomach. Be healed completely perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Go ahead. Praise God. Oh. I want to thank God because he has healed me of asthma and ulcer. Okay. Before I came to this program since yesterday, for some weeks now, although the asthma has been disturbed when I was very young, but the last I could remember when I had the crisis was when I was in secondary school. But like three weeks ago, it resurfaced, and I went to the hospital, I took drugs. But two days ago, I had to go to a nurse that, please give me injection that I'm feeling ch chest tightness. And when I came to this program, I was still having the chest tightness. But I want to thank God, while we were praying, I felt now I'm feeling light, and I can even talk well than yesterday, even before I came to this program. Come. In the name of Jesus, place your hand on your chest. Asthma, you're of the devil, we come against you. You go now, you go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I have a nun that has been insane for since 2010. Insane. So when you were when you when you declared it, I saw her in a vision running home and I believe it's in Ibadan. I believe where, where is she? It's in Ibad. I don't know where she is. She has been insane and out of house since 2010. If you see that kind of thing in this kind of atmosphere then that means there is also a prophetic grace on you. Don't you think so? So the real prayer is not even for her own madness. The prayer is that the grace that has come will stay. Most times people have these experiences and then afterwards it goes. So I pray for you. Eh? I activate that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, may that grace come upon you. You will be turned into another great woman of God. And in the name of Jesus, I pray concerning the mad man or woman. Woman, in Jesus' name, return back to sanity and return home. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes. I quickly have one online testimony all the way from Germany. Healed of pile instantly. Pile. All the way from Germany. Germany. Amazing. Praise the Lord. I've been diagnosed of lupus since 2014. 
So medically? When, yes. Okay. When you started praying, I was praying that you mentioned my condition, but you didn't mention it there. You prayed for other conditions. Then the Spirit kept telling me that I should come out. That do I believe that I'm healed? Then I'm okay, healed. come. Um, she may have to be the last. Let them stay. Let me just pray. In the name of Jesus, Lupus, I curse you. By the God of heaven, you are gone and gone forever. I'm okay. I want to take this last one from all the way from Egypt. Heal the pile and constant urine all the way Completely. from Egypt. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You see, there's something about the power of God that you must understand. In the realm of the spirit, the concept of distance and time really does not exist. I know that you hear people say that kind of thing, but you must, you must believe. Uh, physically, you can say there are people in front and there are people at the back. In the realm of the spirit, that, that concept does not hold water. It doesn't make any sense. You understand? God can touch someone from the ends of the earth and touch someone right there at the same time. It doesn't make any difference. And that means that when you are before God, regardless of where you are, you can release your faith. The only thing you stand to benefit being in front is just the convenience. That's it. As far as reception is concerned, it is your faith. Let me pray for all those who have been healed uh, and touched. I'm so sorry because of time. Our time is already fast spent. But in the name of Jesus, I declare that your miracles remain permanent. I know that there are some of you who may have wanted to come out too, but because we're constrained by space, wherever you are, you are healed now. And the healing remains forever. In the name of Jesus. Please go back to your seat. Let's just Who is this? Hold on Who brought him? Let me just touch him, no problem He's a little boy Let me just touch his head uh, Next time it's good to Just walk with what the officials tell you Lord, I can see a cast on his hand Father, perfect this in the name of Jesus By the power of the Holy Spirit and use the boy. Let me touch the one that brought the boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus. You are the one that brought the one who brought the boy. Okay, that's all right. In the name of Jesus Christ. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. Now listen, please. The next five or ten minutes as we wrap up this meeting will be a very defining moment in our lives please listen carefully I believe in impartation as a principle that makes for continuity it is never God's desire and design that the move of God ends with a people please listen it is God's design that there always be a system of continuity from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, from Jesus, the apostles, the early church. And then it says, for this promise is unto you and to your children and to your children's children, to them that are far off, as many as the Lord will call. Why am I saying this? This for me, I believe, is one of the most prophetic moments right now. The moment where you will get to receive mantles, graces, impartations. Some of us are in ministry, we are trusting God for higher levels of grace. Some of us are in business. Some of us are in politics and governance. Some of us are in the media. It doesn't matter what area. I want you to please receive. And then I want to prophesy over your life also and prophesy over the city and we're done can you stand please
I've shared it countless times. I've had the privilege to receive impartations directly from Jesus, the Son of the living God. I have seen him. And my life is a testament of that which has come from him. And in one of my encounters, the Lord told me that everywhere I would go to preach, there must be people there. That the fire that came from him to me, the light, there must be someone in that meeting that that light can come upon. Number two, I've shared a few of my encounters. I've had the privilege to meet a few people, some in their lifetime, who had met the generals of old. And I remember one of them was talking to me, and I've shared it with you many times, how that one of the generals told him, he says, never die with the anointing that is on you. When the days are almost spent, find young men transfer this grace upon them because every time God sends a word to Jacob is because of Israel he doesn't send the word to Jacob because of Jacob you know I was telling pastor that what Dunsin did here was very prophetic I had planned that somewhere and as I was ministering I would call those who had the grace for psalmistry and then have Dunsin just speak over their lives so I was touched when he was already doing it but listen to me we are made first by the light that we see and then by the empowerment of the spirit that rests upon us but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn and i shall be anointed with fresh oil my assignment as a man of god is to always ensure that I never return to minister to a people at the same level of grace that I came the last time. Otherwise, you'll be a waste of time. There should be something that is coming upon you now that did not come last Abel Kuta Believers meeting. That is going to be the proof of growth in the spirit that by the privilege of his mercy, we have contended for dimensions and higher realms of possibilities. I know some of you yesterday came with a point of contact. I told you it may be whatever it is. If you did come with it, I want you to lift it up. And while you stand, I want to pray. Thank you for your patience. This is the final moment we want to pray. You don't have to bring those out under the anointing. Please protect whoever is sitting by your left and right. If they are under the anointing, just see to it that they are not injured. I want to pray for you. This is a final moment. Such as I have. That's what Peter said. In the name of Jesus, I pray first for all those who are called into the fivefold ministry. In the name of Jesus and by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I release the grace for the next level of ministry the grace that can birth the biggest outpouring in this city take that grace now in the name of Jesus take that grace now in the name of Jesus take that grace now in the name of Jesus There are financial apostles in this season that God is raising men and women strong economically with the wealth of nations as an individual it will not just happen by business prowess there is a dimension of wealth that does not just happen by buying and selling there is a dimension of wealth that is wealth by the finger of God in the name of Jesus I pray as many who are called into that ministry in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands may that anointing rest on you now may that anointing rest on you in the name of Jesus And I will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. The canker worm can eat time, 
so that the only thing growing in your life is your age but nothing else grows I pray for you I don't know what has been eaten from your life but in the name of Jesus Christ I command the grace for restoration on you speed the Bible says and the hand of God came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands by the spirit of the living God standing in agreement with Hallelujah. Thank you. I stand in agreement. That's all right. Thank you. And I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, receive the grace for speed. Abel Kuta, receive the grace for speed. Five years in one year. Ten years in two months. Hallelujah. Now you must receive this one. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. There is a grace called favor. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And the proof will be that when you shall go, ye shall not go empty. Everything that brings emptiness to your life, in the name of Jesus, carry favor tonight. Carry favor tonight. Favor with men. Favor with systems. Favor with men. In the name of Jesus. Ezekiel 47. And he measured a thousand cubits, and it was to my ankle. And he measured a thousand cubits, and it was to my knees. He measured a thousand cubits, it was to my loins. And he measured a thousand cubits, it was a river. I pray for you. Higher dimensions in the spirit, step into it. Higher dimensions of visions. Higher dimensions of the prophetic, the apostolic, the evangelistic. Higher dimensions of healing. Receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The flood also symbolizes judgment. God is able to judge the wicked. He said, arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. I pray for you, anyone who has made himself an enemy of God in your life, by this conference, the way the river separated Egypt from Israel, I separate them from your life forever. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It was Jesus that was speaking and said, and I will build my church. I'm speaking to the church in Abel Kutan now. And the gates of hell. I'm glad that there are fathers here that represent the spiritual voices in this land. We stand in agreement with their graces and we speak to the church in Abel Kuta. You shall not go down. The spirit of revival will never die in this land. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, we speak to the generals that must arise in this season. We sound the shofar. Across the length and the breadth of Abel Kuta, arise in the name of Jesus. Elijah, arise in the name of Jesus. I challenge the spirit of death. Listen, over anyone's life here, 
that wants to bring you down to the grave be delivered now in the name of Jesus. Every vision you have that has refused to come to light, dreams, songs, prophecies, books, dimensions of revelation, I decree and declare, I call it come to light now. Come to light now. Let me speak to the soul of this city. Every city has a soul. Ah. Take it higher for me, please. We are rounding up. Atmosphere. in your life today in the name of Jesus as the flood moves over this land it takes away shame and reproach forever <laughs> hallelujah I stand in agreement with all the organizers of these meetings many times we forget to pray for them we pray for every other person who has received and then we leave them but the Bible says a worker is worthy of his wages. We use Pastor Shola and Pastor Shegu as points of contact to all of the workers, the choir, the protocol in the name of Jesus. Everything that is alive grows. Therefore, we shift you to new dimensions. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That when men say there is a casting down, for you we decree and we declare that there will be a lifting up. Every church represented in this city rise to a new level from glory to glory. And we, we pray using Bishop as a, as a point of contact for allowing this auditorium and the sacrifice. Bishops are in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak over your life and over this ministry and by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic I stand in agreement as one who has been called by God is an election of grace I measure a thousand cubits in the spirit and we shift this ministry to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ as minister Dunsin has prayed over you all those who are called into the ministry of psalmistry I stand in agreement with him. New songs. Melodies from the spirit. You will write the songs of Miriam. You will sing the songs of victory. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. And finally. 
for every one of you who is on this ground you have sacrificed right from the beginning of this conference through the sun through the heat inconveniencing yourself while i came i saw people just around the window some standing right to the back some even the outskirts of this place it is impossible to come before god and tabernacle these three days and then return without a testimony therefore i prophesy to you in the name of jesus every testimony that must manifest in your life before the end of march i call it forth let it let it come running after you in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah please just just be patient with me i'm sorry i know our time is gone in two minutes you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus we cannot share the grace without giving me an opportunity for an encounter i have to suspend this before i do the last just speaking over your life you are saying apostle if you give me an opportunity i need jesus if you need jesus you know there's no point pretending wherever you are from the back to the front run like there's fire on the mountain i will just count one to five come and stand right here i want to pray with you very quickly there's nothing to be ashamed of one two apostle i've seen my life and i know that i need jesus please if you are coming run clear the way for them i don't want this conference to finish then i go back to my life three jesus is still calling many four are you coming quickly please please clear the way for them clear the way for them so that they come Okay, yeah. Let's celebrate them as they come. Let's celebrate them as they come. Hallelujah. Now, maybe you may you may interpret with me while I lead them to pray for those who um, may not be fluent in English or may not understand it. I salute every one of you for making this decision. This is the greatest decision in this place, literally. And the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. I'd like you to lift your right hand high to the heavens. And then say this after me, mean it from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus. Everyone, please say it again. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for me. This night, I accept your life and I accept your lordship. Be my lord, my savior, and my king. I receive eternal life. I also receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. From today, the power of sin is broken over my life forever. I move forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. Keep those hands lifted. Jesus, we bless you and we praise you. Thank you for bringing these ones, calling them to make this decision. Lord, I decree and declare that the grace that keeps, may that grace rest upon them. They continue to go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Congratulations. Do we have where to take them? Okay, all of you, please. In concert, just follow this man. Let's go. All of you, there's, there's someone waving where his the hands. Lights are there, you All of see. you, this way. Let's celebrate them as they go. Celebrate them as they go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Shola, thank you so much. It's been about three, four years. I come here to the city of Abelkuta every year, ministering the word of the Lord. And I want to thank you, sir. I do not take it for granted. I appreciate you. I honor every servant of God here. Thank you for accommodating me and the team. Thank you for allowing God to do the things that he does through us. And I want to celebrate and thank every one of you. Thank you for your love. I love you from the depth of my heart. May the Lord increase you in Jesus' name.
as if it should not end. <laughs> but the Bible says better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Hallelujah. I want to thank everybody, all the men of God that are here. Thank you so much. All pastors, reverend, our bishop, our daddy, thank you. I want to thank every worker in APM. Oh, I feel like seeing you over and over again, but <laughs> maybe we'll see once in a blue moon when I'm in the city. But I thank you all, all those who arrange chairs, ushers, protocol, choir, welfare. And then the team that came with me from Lagos, those who brought Apostle, brought Brad Lucy, thank you so much. The camera crew from Lagos, thank you. Sound from Lagos, thank you. We love you all. You are wonderful. Glory to God. Thank you. Abel Kuta, we love you, we love you, we love you. Shall we rise to share the grace together? Again, I want to thank God for my parents. I'm so happy to see them. God bless you, sir and ma. Amen. They stay here in Abel Kuta and they have decided to come this evening. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate somebody before we close. They received testimonies from as far as Egypt and Germany. Oh, I can see Daddy and Mommy Shotunde. Oh, my God. You are welcome, sir. Welcome. <laughs> so you were behind me all along. Ah, Daddy and Mommy. Wow. Those are the people that don't, they brought us up, and we are glad to see them. Thank you, Daddy and Mommy. Somebody came all the way from Germany. She requested that we write a letter for her to be able to get her visa. She's a Cameroonian, but she resides in Germany, and she came all the way from Germany for this meeting. Please come, ma. We, we should celebrate her. We love you. Thank you so much. Say something to everybody. Just amazing. Just amazing. I want to carry this fire and go to Germany. And the chain must break. Les chaînes doivent tomber. But I want to say that in Germany because my heart burned for Germany. <laughs> Entschuldigung. Hey, ich bete für Deutschland. Die Chains must broken. Ich breche alle Finsternis. Ich breche alle Finsternis. Die Teufel muss einfach seine Hände auf Deutschland wegmachen. Ich gehe da mit Feuer und Flamme, like Rena Bonke. Sie werden einfach Feuer und Flamme. Ich bin ein Afrikaner. Aber Deutschland erwartet von mir. Amen. There is no language Jesus does not understand. <laughs> That's German. God bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, let's share the grace together. Join us. To get their way.